In today's Whiteboard Leadership Moment, I want to talk about preaching a, a little bit. I know for me, this was a, a subject of great interest. I was in seminary and I was leading a, a youth group and I was invited to speak and give my first sermon. And no one had ever taught me how to preach. And I just remember feeling so, um, uh, so concerned and so worried about how, how do you do this? It, it's one thing to lead a Bible study. It's one thing to lead a meeting, but how do you speak to a crowd when you're not sure about the interaction? What do you, what do, you do and how do you create the pathway in your mind of, of how to create a good, a good sermon? And so it was only a few months later, I was in one of my seminary classes and I was taught the SCORE method. A guy named Ken Davis uh, was, the, was the leader and he, he taught us how to, how to walk through and give uh, a, a sermon. And I, again, I, I, just, I use it today. It's still, it's still part of how I think through a sermon. SCORE is an acrostic, uh, an acronym. It's uh, the first S is for subject. Uh, what, what's going to be the subject? Would it be the church? Would it be God? Would it be evangelism? Would it be something else, personal growth? But what's the, what's the subject? And I would write whatever the subject was. And then C was for central theme. What, what part of that subject? I'm not just going to talk about God. I'm going to talk about the mercy of God or the glory of God. Uh, I, I'm not going to talk about just evangelism, but I probably talk about uh, the, the fear that goes in with it or the dependence on God. And so I have a central theme. And then I would create an objective statement. An objective statement. So I'm going to give, use evangelism, for example. Uh, every, every Christian should share their faith because this. Or every Christian can share their faith by this. Uh, if it's a should because thing, then you're, you're telling them why. If it's a can buy, you're telling them how. You got to decide, is this something I'm trying to encourage them and motivate them, which would be a, a should because, or is it something I'm trying to train them with, which would be a can buy kind of objective statement. And then you try to find three or four things that would make this make sense. What Three uh, rationale. Uh, every Christian should share their faith because, uh, think about it, because uh, Christ teaches us so because Christ modeled it because people need Jesus. It, that may be that, that simple. Or every person can share, their, can share their faith by learning this method and you teach them the one verse method or some other way of, of sharing your faith or giving a testimony, something like that. But those are the, these are the rationale. You're answering the question that's made by this statement in the rationale. And then, then next you look at the next R is resources. Well, are there, are there illustrations? Are there examples? Are there testimonies? Are there videos? You know, what can I do to add some, uh, some life to this, to this knowledge? What can I do to, to bring it home and to help people understand that it's not just a topic we're talking about. It's something I want them to invest their lives in and actually accomplish and, and apply to their lives. And then finally, after it's all over, the last E is for evaluation. We've got to make sure that we improve. I know a whole lot of pastors that refuse to look at themselves or listen to their talks after they've given them. And I just tell, well, it's, that's just not smart because you can always get better as a communicator. You can always learn how to do things better than you have in the, in the past. Evaluation is your friend and evaluation is the tool that, that the church will use, that your team will use, that God will use to make you a better communicator. My, I hope that this little uh, score method will help you as you begin to speak to people. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.